Hello, my name is Lee Howells. I'm a web designer and UX consultant at an agency. I've been working in the web for, well, since about 1993-94, so I've been in it for a long time. This course is all about A-B testing, everything you need to know to get clued upon it. So who's this course for? Well, for anyone really, but front-end developers, designers, or website owners. So what are we going to look at in this course? Well, we're going to cover the basics. So what is A-B testing? We're going to go through some examples to see the best cases of how it can help you. We're going to get ready, make sure that we have everything we need to know before we get going. We're going to work out the best things to test and what kind of things you can test in A-B testing. How to get permission and buy-in to make sure your test goes as smoothly as it possibly can. Then we're going to get going. We're going to look at the basic services out there to help you do testing and the ancillary testing services which can help inform you. Then we're going to set up tests in Optimizely, Visual Website Optimizer and Google Content Experiments. Set up a test in each and see how they vary. Then we're going to look at the results, how we interpret the results and measure the success of our test and look at the important factor of statistical significance, although I promise we're not going to get too mathematical. Once we've got the basics covered, we're going to look at how to take things a little bit further, look at email campaigns and the basic mistakes that we shouldn't be making. And then we'll summarise the whole thing up at the end. I really hope you can join me on this course. I really think it's going to be useful for you to actually have someone walk you through the process and watch how someone sets up tests in these testing services and learn more about the whole process. I think the future of the web might well involve a lot of A-B testing, perhaps automated algorithmic A-B testing. So knowing the basics could be really useful for everyone involved in the web. Thanks for listening and I hope you'll join me soon.